everyone, I'm Silver. Welcome back to my channel. Today guys, today I am bringing you my new Nectar uh, Recluse Asha Flower Princess build. Or just known as my Asha build. It's a pretty common build so there won't be too much different about it. But to start this build off we have um, Peach Orchard Maiden Emily. And she has the unique skill to clone, as this deck's famous for. So, here we go. So, Peach Orchard Emily, GB1. Put this unit into show if you have a Vanguard with uh, Recluse in its card name. Choose up to two, choose up to one of your grade 2 or greater units. Search your deck for one card with the same name as that unit. Call it to your guard. Shuffle deck. Until the turn, return that unit. And at the end of turn, return that unit to your hand. So it's a pretty good card. We run two of them just because it's nice for cloning purposes. If you have one. Um, the next unit we run is a Cosmic Pixie Elizabeth. Elizabeth Seal is GB1. When another unit named Cosmic another unit named Cosmic Pixie Elizabeth is placed on rear, she's five of Choose five of your units named Cosmic Pixie Elizabeth on your rear guard until end of turn they get can they get act rear guard generation break one. Choose a normal unit from your drop zone. If you if you do choose up to four cards with the same name as that unit from your drop zone and return them to deck. Return this card to your deck, shuffle and draw a card. So it's good because if you have a lot of Lizbeths out. You can spam Lizbeth skills, and again, this deck is cloning slash renaming. So, um, in my Neo Nectar battle setup, I will show you how that works. That's another video, though. Um, we're running four Fairy Light Dragons. Nothing special about this uh, heal trigger. I just like it. And yep, okay. Moving on to the next unit which is the critical for Asha, which just in case I'm gonna be doing this a lot, or there's another unit like this, but similar. Um, put this unit to soul when it when your Vanguard attacks, if you have a grade three or greater uh, Vanguard with X, known as X being recluse in this case. Um, in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, choose one of your Vanguard, it's, and it gets plus 5K. The reason why I said it like that is for the simplistic reason that um, because almost every clan that I can think of off the top of my head has a unit similar to this, and they have one other unit very similar. We call this a cookie cutter unit. Uh, the next is a maiden critical. It's uh, send a soul, give a unit 3k. Um, all your units, all your, uh, well, um, actually every unit in your deck besides vanilla should have skills, but, um, yeah, we use her. Cause she has a skill and it's a good skill next we have tokaha here i mean um faithful maiden which is skilled for when uh bloom early game bloom or known as bloom without gb auto regard when another unit of the same name as this is placed on regard if you have a grade three or greater choose um choose up to two of your units and they get plus 4k so we have four copies of her because we run four copies of everything in this deck for skill base. Next is the perfect guard, Flower Keeper Dragon. Choose a card from hand, discard it when it's placed on guard. From hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your units that is being attacked, and it cannot and it cannot hit until the end of battle. If you if the chosen unit with this effect is a recluse. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Search for one card among them that shares a name with your Vanguard or Rearguard from, and reveal it. Put it to your hand and shuffle deck. So this is net gain. Essentially, you're losing a card to gain a card off of PG, which is really good. So it's basically a free PG if you PG your uh, Recluse Vanguard. Uh, Stride Fodder, it's another cookie cutter card. Um, when it's placed on rear, reveal a grade 3 from hand. You, if you pay the cost, search your deck for a grade 3 with a recluse in its name, add it to hand, discard a card, and it gets 2 while paying the cost for stride. So it's a stride fodder. 
i.e. strike fodder. Um, next is Ideal Maiden. Her skill is when this unit is placed on rear, choose one of your units. If you have a vanguard with a cruise in its name, this is regarded as the as the unit with the same card name as the chosen unit. It it has to choose a unit when it's placed. Um, it also has a generation break one. Choose a unit from drop zone with the same name as this unit. Put it to the top of your deck at the beginning of your main phase. Um, you may pay the cost if if you have a recluse vanguard. If you do, return this unit to your hand and shuffle deck. Why is that good? So at the so you can return copies of her and at the beginning of each game. So if you have three copies of her, or if you have one copy of her out, you can send one copy back and add it to hand and get skills off like that so she's always someone else as well as, well as herself um, we have another unit here I can't really pronounce its name so you're just gonna have to look at it um this unit gets win the uh, generation break one when when your other unit with the same name as this is placed on rear um, choose three of your units and they get plus 2k until end of turn. And if you have a Vanguard River Cosense name, it gets boost. So this is, um, the Bloom skill when another unit, that's how Bloom works, is placed. Uh, then it gets X skill. So this is Bloom, so you play her, play one copy of her, play her, get skill, Bloom. Play another copy of her, Bloom, Bloom. Play another copy of her. Bloom, Bloom, and you play another copy of her, Bloom, 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 you, you're getting the point. All these things gain power, Bloom, 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 and it gets scary because it's one, you play one, you copy it by playing her, so it goes off, so there's two, there's 6k power added everywhere, plus they get boost, and you play another copy of her, or you play another copy of her. Bloom, 6k everywhere plus boost and then you play a copy of her then it goes off twice so you get 4k on three things and they gain boost play another copy of her get again and you can play another copy of her 8k, uh, 6k and then you play a copy of her boom boom you see the cycle it's by playing these eight cards, you potentially... So say you have these four out. And then you just spam playing her. So you get two, 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 two. There's eight. And each bloom goes off separately, I think. There's um some broken way. I will have to look into it on how bloom entirely works because green shot was broken at one point. Uh, next is... This unit, I can't pronounce its name either. All I can pronounce is mating. I'm half asleep here. Cut me some slack. Um, Generation Break 2. Choose a unit from hand. Discard it. If you have a Vanguard Recluse in its name, this unit gets continuous. This unit can attack from back row. Why is this scary? Well, it has Bloom. When another unit with the same name as this card is placed on rear, all your units in the same column as this get plus 4k. Why is that bad? Well, it can attack from back row. So you put this one in the front. You put another one in the back. Bloom. 4K to the whole column. Play one of these. Bloom. You don't even have to play these in the same column. To make it scary because you could just literally do one of these. One of these in the front row. There's 4K. And then you just do this. Boop, boop. You play one of these. Bloom goes off. Now you're giving... A total of 8k to every column and you just spam skills it becomes scary but moving on we're, we're moving on to my favorite art of Asha uh, flower or recluse flower made in Asha generation break 2 all your um, all your units get continuous vanguard rear during your turn if you if you have another unit with the same name as this card uh, same name uh, as this unit on your van or rear this unit gets 5k that gets scary that makes columns this decks all about making powerful columns 
<sighs> need to catch my breath. Um, so yeah, 5k you get. So if you have four of her out, or just let's just say you have four of her out, they all get 5k. Um, is it that unit? Yeah, that this unit gets 5k. So five, five. So it's just as there's 20k. Why is that bad? Because bloom, you play one. 4k to a column or 8k to a column. Play another one. Another 8k. Play another one. Another 8k. It's pretty bad, actually. See, that's 8k to a column. Play that. That's going to be 8k. Yep. So that's bad. That's really, really bad. Because you don't want that to happen. And then it gets an additional 8k on everything. Or 5k. So bloom it's scary it makes columns you don't want to face this when it's blooming and the most expensive card in the stack or yeah, actually I think it is the most expensive card is our 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 recluse of searing heart Asha the new thigh Asha uh, when this unit's placed when another unit with the same name as this pla is placed on rear it gets uh, bloom which is counter charge and soul charge it's only a vanguard bloom because they didn't think it would be good on rear which I would have agreed if it came in the new new nectar trial deck but it didn't so it's bad um, at the end of turn that the, choose a choose a card from hand and you may or and you may call it to rear so at the at the end of each turn may activate the skill. It doesn't matter whose turn, it could be mine or the opponent's turn and it still works. Next is we're moving into our G zone. We run element air element sea breeze for grade walk. Its skill is essentially counter blast two. Um, choose a card from hand discard it if you have a grade three Vanguard and your opponent didn't ride last turn and has grade two and you have zero cards face up in your G zone, you may stride this unit from face down. It's essentially if your opponent doesn't do anything and it's at grade two to stall, then you can unlock GB1. Next is our Dream Spinning Recluse Asha, which um, you choose a card face down, named it, turn it face up, it gets skills, it wins games, it makes it scary. Essentially you're at you're cloning more, giving things five thousand power than if the number of cards in your G zone is two more. Just one of your rear guards, search your deck for another copy of it, call it to rear, it gets plus 2k. Um, yeah, it's scary. It does things. Just trust me, you want this in your deck, no matter what. And deck list in the description below, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Next is Flower Princess of Beautiful Winter. It's a scary unit. Choose five normal units from your rear and drop zone five total units from rear and drop zone return them to deck shuffle deck if you return five cards counter charge and soul charge one generation break two counter blast one choose a card from hand and discard it when this unit is placed when a unit is placed on rear you may pay the cost if you do choose one of your units with a bloom ability search your deck for two copies of the same name reveal them put them to hand and shuffle deck that's scary because everything because the unit has bloom we call one. Send the ones in the drop zone back to deck. Copy. Call. Bloom. You seeing how this is scary? Next unit we have is Primavero. One of my personal favorite units. Um, Flower Princess of Spring Beginning. Primavero. Counter Boss 3. Choose five normal units from drop zone. Return them to deck. Choose a card from hand and discard it. When this unit attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose two of your rear guards. Search your deck for up to two cards with the same name as the units chosen and call them to separate rear guards. So that's four units you get to call back. Yep. You get to refill your columns. So if your first annoying bloom attempt ain't work, then try again. Why is that bad? So let's say you put these to drop zone because you finally got enough power everywhere and you have three of these. These are considered this. So you return these to deck and you get this. 
and and then you choose this that's also named that you search for them and then you play all four it doesn't sound bad until you think of oh wait all four blooms go off at the same time because of placement because when it's placed so you get one two that's essentially look at it like this bloom six bloom six bloom six bloom six bloom is pretty broken when you call a bunch of things with bloom at the same time well that's primavera next is our summer card um flower princess uh perpetual summer verging i uh, counter blast one choose a copy of it uh choose a unit you choose them turn it face up choose a card from your drop zone return it to deck when this unit's placed on vanguard you pay the cost. If you do, choose two cards from your hand and call them to separate rearguards. Choose the same number of your rearguards as the number of cards face up in your vanguard. If you do, search your deck for one card with the same name as the chosen units. Call them to separate rearguards. Shuffle deck, and they get the boost ability. I'm just going to say, Bloom! Bloom! Copy! Bloom! Bloom! I don't think I've made my point clear. Bloom! Bloom! Yep, okay, point cleared. Uh... Thickest thighs, Regal, uh, Regal, Recluse, and Glorious Bloom Asha. Another victory card. Um, Generation Break Two, Counter Blast One, Soul Blast One. Choose a card from your G Zone. Turn it face up. If you have a heart with Recluse in its name, choose one of your units. Search your deck for one card with the same name as that unit. Call it to Rigor Shuffle Deck. Choose. Up to four units with the same name as the as that unit. They get 5k each for each card face up. For each uh, Dreaming Spin Asha in your G zone. And then if the number of units. If if you have a unit with the same name as the unit on, on your rear guard. This unit gets one critical. It wins games. Not going to lie. You get all four of these faced up. You call a bunch of these. You're making columns. And this gets a critical. By the way, it has support from columns. Guys, the stack is broken. It's good. Play it, run it. It's only going to cost you an arm and a leg. Next is Dismal. It basically perfect guards a rear guard, and it can't be retired from guard circle. Allows you to call, gain power, and allows you to gain power if you share X amount, if you have two recluses on your field, or of the same name, and, or if you have four units with the same name and it gets it's a 30k shield that is the G zone and that is the video um, stick around though cuz now you're about to get the price variant of that video it's gonna show up here right about now I'm gonna explain the price and then I'll outro into but I'll see you guys after the price hey everyone welcome back so as I said Previously, before this little segment, I was going to show you what the raw price and what the optimist, optimized price of the Great Nature Flower Princess build I did. Essentially, the Asha deck. So, I want to try to do these deck, prof deck profiles more often. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to do. But, guys, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And tell me if you like it. Tell me what, you, what your personal build is. And remember, deck list in the description below on the units in here so now we're going to go over here into tcg player shopping cart this is the raw price without optimizing for cheaper or for convenience so your total price is 314 dollars now with that being said if you scroll through the cart you see a lot of things like this where you need more money because this is only an eight cent card and you gotta be able to you gotta have essentially a dollar from every buyer so if you scroll through all 56 cards are here and this is the raw price. So if you were able to buy it like this, it would cost you $314. Now that being said, if you see this button right here that comes with all um, optimizers, you click optimize cart. It goes through a little database and it will tell you how to optimize it. Now the reason why it tells you to optimize this is because, uh, what's it called? Uh, Again, it's for the $1 things, it's so you can get your best money. And this, maybe you want verified sellers, so you get safeguarded. 
and top rate consistent track records or maybe you just want cheaper which isn't always the case just from any seller which will give you more packages and ironically costs more so these are the other two prices you could get the deck at raw if you have no cards for it built whatsoever this is these are your prices these are your three prices on TCG player at the time of this recording it could change but guys with that being said I've been Silver. I'll see you all later. Peace. Hey guys. Okay, so that was the price. There's the overview of the deck. I plan on doing Gold Paladins next. I just want to make sure I have enough decks and enough time to record these videos. They do take a lot to set up with this uh, program known as Tabletop Simulator. I really like it. Um, it's a nifty little program that is essentially uh, emulates board games and everything. We're right now outside in the streets of I don't know where but yeah it allows us to basically you know just play throw the decks off the side of the table see and sort of just this is actually kind of fun but guys until next time I've been the Silver Wolf I hope you all enjoyed if you like this video please let me know so I can do more in the future. And yeah. Um, I did have a lot of fun doing this. So I hope to see you all again very soon. Until next time guys. Peace. Oh yeah. Like and subscribe if you're new. And please let me know what plan you'd like to see next in one of these videos. Until next time guys. Bye.